Hey y'all, thank you very much for tuning in to another episode of SC Gaming Adventure. Uh, today we're going to be looking at another of the Inner Sphere Lance packs, and this time it is the Inner Sphere Heavy Battle Lance. Um, and this is one I've been looking forward to for a while because it got the Axeman in, and I recently faced off against an Axeman and was terrified of the thing. So being able to have one of my own, excellent news. So let's crack this open and have a look at the mechs themselves. Enough blithering on for me, so let's have a look. And as always, we have the Alpha Strike cards and piloting cards here in every box, which is cool. And we have the four mechs themselves, and I will start from lightest up. So we are starting with a very weird mech, in my opinion, and that is the Bushwhacker. It is one of those mechs. Let's get that into focus for you. Uh, yeah, there we go. It is one of those mechs that has a really weird design that doesn't really make sense to me because I, I'm i not really a fan of asymmetrical arms where they're essentially doing the same thing just in different ways. Like this one has a weird you know, joint halfway across it and I'm not a fan of the aesthetic of the Bushwhacker. And to be honest, I'm not a fan of the loadout either. Um, it's a medium mech coming in at 55 tons, 5.8 uh, movement, and it's got a smattering of weapons. I mean, some versions it's just like an LBX-10 and a large laser. Um, other versions, it's got a smattering of like two LMM5s, an SRM4, and bits and bobs, but no real definitive punch. Um, so it, it's one of those mechs that's in a weird space for me. Um, and it's it's quirky. A bit unusual to see like a large laser in the center torso on one of the versions. Um, but it's, it's not one of my favorites. It's not one that I really, to be honest, I haven't played with it that much um, using proxies. So I'm not 100% familiar with it. But it's, it's not one that really appeals to me. Um, but I am kind of looking forward to painting it up because it is a very quirky design. Um, and it'll make a nice little addition to my periphery forces. So next up is the one that actually terrifies me and that is the Axeman and I really really adore this sculpt. Let's get that in there for you guys to have a look at. Look at that. Check out that axe. That is a really lovely mech. And then if we come to the rear, the detail they've put into the back of them legs is phenomenal. I mean, the whole mech is something else. And as was pointed out to me uh, recently during the game, um, the cockpit of these things, if I get that in close enough for you to have a look at, and de -blur, is a little VTOL all, all on its own. And when it ejects, it becomes a tiny little flying thing, um, which is <laughs> really quirky and cool. Um, and it, it's it's the auto cannon and the axe that scares me. If this thing gets in close range, it's gonna muller whatever it gets up to. I mean, in a recent game against my mate Geraint, he was chasing my awesome around with one of these and really, really scaring me to be honest. I thought he was gonna get in there and just smash it to pieces. And he, he did get into close combat, um, which <laughs> is a rarity in Battletech. I mean, it's not 40k where everything is close combat. Um, and this mech really excels getting up in close and I really really adore this sculpt It's really something else. I mean all of the new sculpts are really nice, but this one really does Take an up a notch in my opinion So next up in this set is the cataphract um, Which is another nice heavy mech Let's get that into focus for you guys and look at that sculpt. That is really cool. It's a bit of a weird design with the uh, chicken legs on a human-like torso. I always thought it was a bit weird in that respect. Um, but it's a nice all-round design. And one of the things that really gets me with this mech is that it's got weapons facing in every direction in most of the versions. So, you know, it, it's like the Archer. You think you got round behind it and it's not going to be able to do anything and surprise, surprise, two medium pulse lasers to the face. And because you've got nice and close to the thing, they're firing at short range, so they're gonna hit. It's one of those mechs, it's, it's got long range punch, it's got short range punch, it's got everything. There's even a version with mask that can get up to eight hexes of running. Um, so it can be pretty damn swift if it wants to be, and I believe it's 75 tons, don't quote me on that, I may be wrong. 
Um, but yeah, it's one of those mechs that is a really nice all-rounder mech, and the sculpt is really nice. It really looks the part. And finally, the big boy of this pack is the Night Star, and damn, this thing is big. It's a nice big 95-ton mech for you guys, and look at that sculpt. Look at the guns on the arms, all that detail. It is phenomenal. That is going to look really nice painted up. And they've even gone the extra mile on the rear end. To me, this thing looks like someone took a Marauder and gave it some steroids. This is like the Arnold Schwarzenegger of mechs. It's 95 tons. It's got a ridiculous loadout, like two Gauss rifles, two large lasers, that kind of deal. It is just OTT to the next level and is a real thumper. Slabs of armor. Slow, ponderous, but once it gets where it's going, it's taking something down. And the sculpt really does reflect it. I mean, let's bring it up next to an Atlas for comparison. You know, but this is just as big and chunky. And I really like that. And I really like the nice, sleek design of this thing. This thing really does look spectacular. Um, I'm really looking forward to painting that, to be honest, because that is absolutely next level sculpt. I really love that. The Catalyst team have really gone all out with these new mechs. Um, and as a diehard Innersphere player, I am loving what they've done. I always thought some of the older Innersphere mechs looked a bit wonky. Um, I won't lie, but these new ones, these are phenomenal. These are next level. I'm really looking forward to getting these painted. So my thoughts on this, Lance. Nice, good mixture of mechs. You've got a couple of big heavy hitters, a couple of fast little mechs to get around behind. A nice mixture of mechs. You know, no matter what the situation, we've got something for it. And I'm really looking forward to getting these into my forces and painted up. You know, we've got, you know, Night Star and Cataphract, two nice mechs for really slugging it out. You know, getting into a slapping match with the enemy big bastards. So that's nice. And then we got the Axe Man for getting up close and personal and really ruining someone's day with that hatchet. And then finally we have the Bushwhacker for, well, bushwhacking. Um, really nice mix of mechs. I think they're going to work together quite well. I'm really lo looking forward to getting them painted up. Um, if you have any thoughts on this, lads, let me know in the comments below. Other than that, you have a most excellent day and I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, take care. Ta-ra.